Party people in the place to be. What's going on? It's me. It's me. I'm barely, barely tipsy right now. Why? Because I woke up late, I didn't eat, and I started to drink. And I've been working out. So my metabolism is fairly up. So uh, it hits me a lot faster. So that's, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, we're going to continue on this Comic-Con trip. Uh, I know some people who do usually frequent Comic Con. Uh, they make out like bandits most of the time. Um, I kind of always wanted to go. Like the thing is, now it's such a fucking scene, it's such a mob scene, and all that other shit. Like it's almost like is it bearable at this point? Like it's almost too too much. It's almost entirely too much of a scene. But from Comic Con comes this: the new. Superman, or sorry, Batman, the Superman Dawn of Justice Comic Con trailer. This is from Warner Brothers themselves. They're going to try to take this down, so expect this to be a daily motion exclusive. Why? Because Warner Brothers doesn't understand what reactors really do for movies and can do for movies and the kind of money that the reactor verse can generate for your fucking movie via free advertising, you goddamn. Uh, number crunchers, you bean counters. Listen, what I'm going to do right now is advertise for your movie for free. Okay? So don't try to come after my video and shut it down because you'll just look petty then. All right? So here we go. Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, likely a Daily Motion exclusive. Either way, it starts right now. Today is a day for truth. The world needs to know what happened and to know what he stands for. That kind of power is very dangerous. I want that motherfucker's arms. That's why I'm going to go to the gym in about a half hour. I want that motherfucker's arms. You're not in your bat suit, Bruce. Let the record show that this committee holds him responsible. That's how it starts. They didn't need to gray up his temples. They didn't need to gray up Affleck's temples. That looks weird on him. Cruel. This bat vigilante is like a one-man reign of terror. You don't get to decide what the right thing is. Nobody cares about Clark Kent taking on the Batman. This means something. It's all some people have. It's all that gives them hope. People hate what they don't understand. Be their hero, Clark. Be their angel. Be their monument. Be anything they need you to be. Or be none of it. You don't owe this world a thing. You never did. Do you know the oldest lie in America, Senator? The devils don't come. Oh, he's got hair? Us. Luthor's got Luthor's hair? Sky. 20 years in Gotham, how many good guys are left? How many stayed that way? He has the power to wipe out the entire human race. But he doesn't need it. And we have to destroy him. I don't know how I feel about that suit. Wonder Woman looks interesting, but she still doesn't look as good as she could. Though. Black and blue. See, she God still looks a little night. skinny. Day versus night. I for half a second thought it said gay versus night. The red capes are coming. 
The red capes are coming. See, now I'm not so sure. Uh, there are a couple of things in that trailer that I'm not so sure about now. Uh, they revealed a little bit more about the Bat costume, and it looks... I understand it's need to be bulky because he's going to take on Superman. Um, Trapzilla is a adamant fan. Like, as much as I care about the Ghostbusters reboot, he cares about Batman having white eyes. He hates the fact that Batman has human eyes! He fucking hates it! Um, I personally don't care either way about the human eyes versus the white eyes. I feel like the, the white eyes are more of an affectation of the, of the cartoon versions because they're easier to do in cartoons than they are in live action. I understand the white eyes of of Batman in the comics versus the human eyes of Batman in, in movies because it's it's just more it's just logistically easier and slash better to do the human eyes in a in a movie. Um but here he's probably creaming all over himself because he's got the white eyes, but he's also got the Superman killer Batman costume on. Um it's a little bit bulk I've never been a fan of the small ears. I always like the big big ears but that's just because of when I grew up. I, you know, as uh, I was four years old when the first Batman came out, and so I grew up with the big ears. Um, even though I watched the Adam West one and he had small ears, um, there are a couple of things that that take me from fifteen dollars. You have my fifteen dollars to you have like eleven dollars, eleven fifty. Um, Lex Luthor. Jesse Eisenberg, ah, he, in the trailer, didn't bring the gravitas to the Lex Luthor character that I thought he was going to bring, and he has hair, I understand this might be a younger Lex Luthor, but we saw a younger Lex Luthor in Smallville, and he was bald, so, you don't need to put hair on Lex Luthor, and he played it a little comic booky as opposed to... Uh, him, the way he plays his other roles, which is straightforward, a little twinge of, of psychosis in there, a little twinge of evil villain in there, uh, I saw him going a little bit, he went, he, there was, okay, so here's a sweet spot, here's total cheese where you should embrace, where he just totally embraces the cheese, and he's like right in the middle, he's, he's like, right in the middle like he he's right in the middle like he's not where he normally is which is you know where a lot of us like him and is not in the total cheese area where we can kind of get on board with it because he's just embracing the cheese of the moment he's right in the middle and I don't know how I feel about that uh, I don't know how I feel about the Bruce Wayne um putting the gray highlights in his hair. I don't understand. I, I, again, I'm, I'm comic conversational. I'm not fluent. So I don't know if in the comics, in the in the original text, if Bruce Wayne is a little bit older, is a little bit near the end of his run as Batman. Um, so he would have the gray temples, but they don't seem to fit Affleck. They don't seem to fit Affleck really all that well because his face is still too young for the gray temples. So they kind of need to either put him in makeup to make him look older, which would probably not be the right idea, or just do away with the gray temples, or do away with as much of gray in the temples. Maybe a little twinge, maybe a little bit, uh, but not as much as they did. Like, it just doesn't seem to fit. Um, Wonder Woman still looks too skinny. Sorry, Gal Gadot was a terrible choice for fucking Wonder Woman. She was a terrible choice. She was just not a good choice. But from what I understand, she's not a big part of this movie, so fine. So she can be in it for the five or ten minutes that she's in it, and we can kind of forget about her because she's not, she's 
doesn't, she's not, eh. Like, when we first saw pictures of her, she was still too skinny. Now she's got a little bit of muscle tone on her, but she doesn't have the muscle, she doesn't have the build of muscle to hold the Wonder Woman uh, persona, really. So, I don't, I still don't agree with her as a choice. Like, you could have gone other places to get a better Wonder Woman than Gal Gadot. I still don't agree with that, uh, as she's supposed to be this Amazon princess. I still don't agree with that choice for, for Gal Gadot. She still, she still doesn't get it for me. I'm sorry. As Wonder Woman. At, as Gal Gadot, oh, I'd fuck her into a coma. But as, as Wonder Woman, she doesn't fit. She doesn't fit. She doesn't fit. You can, I would say for the amount of time that she's in the movie, from what I understand, I understand she's in a very small part of the movie. You could have gotten a female athlete to be Wonder Woman and been just fucking fine. You could have got Ronda Rousey to be Wonder Woman and been just fucking fine. You could have got Serena Williams to be a uh, uh, black Wonder Woman. Oh, she's black. Who gives a fuck? Could have gotten her as fucking Amazon jungle, for God's sake. Could have got her to be Wonder Woman and been just fucking fine. But you went with Gal Gadot and she, she for the amount of time that she spent in the gym and all that stuff she tried to put out there, she still doesn't fit. I'm sorry. She just didn't get the mass on that she needed fast enough to be a to be a, a believable Wonder Woman. So I'm out as far as Gal Gadot is concerned. So you got what did I say? Eleven fifty? Got eleven fifty, eleven dollars of my money so far. Like you're losing money. You had my money before, and you get eleven fifty of my money right now. So I, you know, maybe, maybe, like I might see it if. You know, Trapzilla twists my fucking arm to go see it. I might see it. But that trailer didn't do anything for me to to immediately submit me like, Yes! You got my fucking money! Like, they... Mm. Like, the first trailer, you have my money. This one... Mm, gave away too much of the bad parts in this movie. Like, you gave away too much of the controversial bad parts in the movie to get my money. Like, and that's where the power lies, people. This is where the power lies, dude! In the, in the hand that controls the wallet, that controls the money, man. So I'm telling you, all you party people out there, if you're thinking about going to see this movie, think long and hard, dude. Think about the first trailer, man. And then think about the second trailer. I'm a little bit drunker now, so my Hulk Hogan is not as good as it would, as it would be if I were more sober, man. But I'm telling you, party people, think about where your money's going, man. Think about where your, the power lies, man. The power lies in the hand that controls the wallet, that controls the money, dude. So, as far as I'm concerned, they've got a little less of my money. Like, if it's a matinee, if I can get in for cheaper because I got my Regal card or whatever, maybe if I got an excess of money, that I'm just like, fuck it, everybody gets my money, then maybe. But as of right now versus the last trailer, I, there's other movies I might see before this, before, you know. Ah. Eisenberg didn't need to have hair. Uh, he didn't need to play it as cartoony as he did, or needed to play it more cartoony than he did. Like, he played it right in the middle where it was a little bit not cartoony enough, and Gal Gadot doesn't make a believable Wonder Woman still. So, I don't know. I don't know. Party people, what do you think about this? Comment, let me know. Down there. I'm not going to say down below, but down there. What do you think about this? Are you excited? Are you not excited? What do you think about my comments about this? Do you agree? Do you disagree? We can have a verbal discussion about it and go our separate ways afterwards. This is just the internet, for God's sake. So go ahead and let me know what you think about this. Were you at Comic-Con? Were you at the screening of this? Just let me know what you thought about this. Anything you have to offer, we appreciate it here at Two Drink Minimum Reactions. Boom. <gasps> Boom. Boom. Sit back, sit, sit back, sit, bitch. Sit back, sit, sit back.